If you're wanting to vlog on your GoPro, then stay tuned for the best settings for getting the highest quality video out of your GoPro, as well as the best shortcuts on your GoPro for vlogging. You gotta just press record. This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Epidemic is our go-to when it comes to finding music and sound effects for our YouTube videos here at Think Media. One of my favorite features on their site is that you can find similar songs to one you like, so it makes it really easy to find the right music for your YouTube video. And the best part of this is you can monetize your videos while using their music and sound effects in your videos and it's all safe to use for YouTube. If you want to try a 30 day free trial, you can use the link in the description or go to thinkmediasounds.com. So here's the best settings for vlogging on the GoPro. First thing we want to do is actually go to this menu by swiping down on the front screen. Then you want to click on this icon and we're going to mess with our front screen options. When you first get your GoPro, it's going to be set to this option, which is full screen and you're not able to see the full video. So we want it to go to uh, the actual screen. So this is gonna show you a better representation of what's going on when you are vlogging. I also like to leave the beeps off. Originally, it'll have the beeps on like this, but if you click it again so that it's grayed out, this is gonna turn all those beeps off. Now we're gonna set up our video settings by clicking on this button right here, and we're gonna set this up inside the activity section. So right here you see it's called activity, and we're gonna click on that pencil to uh, make some adjustments here. For resolution, I do like to record in 5K 24 frames per second. Uh, if your computer can't handle it, I recommend shooting in 4K 24 frames per second. Now if you're editing videos on your phone, I do recommend going to 1080 and recording your videos in 1080 to save a whole lot of space and make it a lot easier to edit these videos on your phone. But because I have a nice laptop, I'm gonna go back to 5K to get that extra detail in my shot. Next up for the lens, I like to choose linear. You could go widescreen if you have multiple people in your shot and go to wide, but I like to leave mine on linear. This is gonna give me a shot that's a little bit more zoomed in and I think just looks a lot better, more like a YouTube camera versus when you go to that super wide angle lens, it just looks like a GoPro. And I'm really just going for a nice quality video shot. And I feel like that linear lens gives me the best angles. I like to leave scheduled capture off, duration to no limit, and hindsight to off, as well as timer off, zoom, one times, all that stuff is gonna be fine. But we're gonna go down here to Pro Tune. For bit rate, I leave mine at high to get the best quality video out of the GoPro. For shutter speed, we're gonna go ahead and just leave that on auto, because when vlogging, you don't wanna be messing with your settings a bunch. You want everything to be on auto for the most part. If you are editing videos on your smartphone, you can go ahead and turn this down to standard to save on some file space. For EV Comp, we're gonna go ahead and leave this at zero and then I'm going to show you how to quickly change this if you ever need to when vlogging. Our white balance is going to be on auto because we just want it to automatically adjust to our setting. Our ISO minimum is at 100 but our max I actually moved this down to 800 and with the GoPros they really don't have great low light performance so I like to leave it at 800 so if you leave it all the way up and it just starts boosting the gain on the ISO it's not going to look very good so I like to leave it around 1600 to 800 and then ideally I'm just shooting in spaces that have a lot of light, whether it's outside or if it's inside that there's a lot of light coming in. That's the best way to get good quality video on the GoPro. However, you don't need to worry so much about the ISO max because you can change it very quickly and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. For sharpness, I'm gonna leave this at medium. If you leave it at low, you're gonna have to add that in editing and we don't really wanna do that with a vlog. Whereas if you go to the high setting, it's just gonna be too sharp. So I found that medium is kind of the best one for not touching your footage and being able to just upload it to YouTube. For color, we're gonna go ahead and leave this on GoPro. We don't want a flat image for vlogging because we wanna be able to just edit this and upload it to wherever we want to without having to color grade. And so GoPro is gonna give you good colors straight out of the camera. For raw audio, I like to turn that off. This is still gonna record your audio, but if you turn that on, then it's gonna give you another audio file, which I don't need, especially for these vlogs. Now, I really recommend getting the media mod with a shotgun microphone. However, if you aren't using that, just leave your wind set to auto and this is going to give you just your normal audio that you would get out of the GoPro. Moving on to shortcuts, it really doesn't matter where you put these as long as you have all four of them. I found this to be the most useful for vlogging. So I have ISO max, which allows me to quickly change the ISO. If I feel like it's too grainy, I can bring that down to 200, 400, whatever I would like. And then for the lower right, I have hyper smooth. So if I want to turn that on, then I can. I can also turn that off very quickly. And then I also have EV comp. So sometimes with the GoPro, if there is a bright spot and it just won't auto adjust correctly. I'll bring the EV comp down and this is going to help darken that image. So whether it's my skin or a car or something that is just way too bright in the shot, it's going to bring the exposure down, allowing it to be properly exposed. And then I also have my lens right there because sometimes the linear lens could be 
a little bit too tight if there's a lot of people in your shot. So you can change that to a wider field of view. So when we back out, we can see that the shortcuts are all here. So if we want to go in and change, let's say the EV comp, we can go in here and just darken our image by pulling this down. Or if we want to make it brighter, we can pull that up. But I like to leave it just at zero while I am vlogging. And then I will adjust that over time if I need to darken the image. Click on the screen to check out another GoPro video and I will see you guys in the next one.